Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today's video, we're going to be doing some movie titles. This is inspired by the trailer for the movie Imperium, as you can see here. So let's get to it. Mikey's Production Tips is brought to you by Cinema Spice. After Effects tools, video overlays and backgrounds, and sound effects. So as you can see down on this, it's a Daniel Radcliffe uh, neo-Nazi thriller, and I thought the the titles were kind of fun. So you can see them here. What I like about them is it's not overly complex, but there's a lot of cool stuff going on. And there's also a lot of room to add your own stuff to make it your own and to continue to add things to it. So again, this is just inspired by it, even though it's pretty close to what it is. Here's what I ended up with. So let's start with a brand new composition. And even though it's black, the background, um, for some reason, I like to put on a black solid. I don't know why, just in case I accidentally export it transparent for some reason, um, which people don't do that on accident. Anyways. Okay. Now, on top of this, we're going to add some footage. Now, I went and got some, some stock footage. I've got a dirty lens. I've got a picture of a crowd. And those are the main things that we're going to throw into this, plus some text and other elements that we're going to build. So let's take the image of the crowd. And it's not full size, but that's okay, because it's just going to be in the background. Now to this, let's add an effect, color correction, tint. So we'll keep black. Black and white will turn into the kind of the blue color that we saw in the example. Now on top of this I'm going to add some Venetian blinds. This is a transition that just creates lines as you can see. Let's set that to 90 degrees and bring the transition complete. About 8% looks good. So it has kind of this scanned line look. About like that. Now we are going to crop this down. We don't need the whole crowd. So let's grab just the marquee tool. We'll put a mask over it. Hit F on the keyboard, brings up the feather controls. And we'll feather that. Maybe bring it down a little bit. We just want a hint of a crowd there in the background. Now on top of this, let's start to add some elements. Now in my example, I've got this kind of a, of a grid thing going on. How to make that is let's get a shape layer and let's just draw a circle. Let's come in and center it. Remove the stroke. Let's change the fill to white, and let's make it nice and small. We might need to make it bigger than that. Let's go 10. Okay, now to this, let's add a rectangle. And this rectangle, let's have it be Let's go 100. Let's center that as well. And for the stroke, let's change the stroke size. Maybe even thinner. Let's bring that down to two. It's looking good. Now I'm going to take this rectangle and move the position. How about 60? Okay, looking good. Now I'm going to take that rectangle, duplicate it, and let's go in and ch change the rotation. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the repeater to repeat all of these things. Let's maybe put those in a group so it's a little bit easier to manage. Okay. 
Now let's add to this a repeater. And remember we moved it over 60, so we'll want this to be 120. Looking good. Now let's take this repeater and we'll duplicate it. And on the second transform, make that first position zero, second position 120. Perfect. Now if we take the copies, so I option clicked on copies, we're gonna pick whip copies of the second repeater to the copies of the first, and then we can build out our grid like that. And I think the whole thing needs to be scaled down a little bit so it's smaller, about like that. Let's go back into that one first repeater and build that out. Okay, now I want this opacity to be down, maybe 20. So I just want this kind of this hint of this grid system going on right there. All right, let's give that a name, grid. Next, let's bring in some text. So I went online, found a random text generator. So I'm gonna copy that random text. I don't need it to be anything because it's just gonna be more like texture in the background. Let's drag and make our text box. Okay. And maybe let's change the font. Something more like a typewriter, a courier, will do just fine. Now, what I want to do is I want to make some of this look like it's, um, you know, an FBI file where parts have been redacted. Let's just take some words. I'm going to switch this to a font called block. And I'm going to come in here and I need to change the position of these so they overlap. But you can see it looks like parts are crossed out. So I'm going to just copy that and let's cross out some words. Just random ones here and there. Just to kind of give it a, you know, a secret undercover spy feel. That block font is pretty cool. It's good for making, you know, fake text or anything like that where you don't really need to have words say anything. Okay. So there we go. Now let's go back to fit. Let's bring this opacity again. Let's bring that down, say 15. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go up to 20. Okay, let's move this whole thing over to this side. Okay, now let's add some more text elements. So I'm gonna to use that block font again. This time we're gonna add other things in with it as well. So let's add some more German. Because again, it's not meant to be seen. It's just meant to be texture. Put a few on each side. All right, so I'm gonna take all of these texts that I had put in there, these random texts, I'm gonna go in down into my timeline, give them a different color so I can easily spot them. Now, also in the example, are these little lens flares. Now, if you don't have a lens flare creator, such as optical flares or no light factory, well, then we can create these without doing that. So let's create those from scratch. Grab a new solid. Let's make it black. On top of this, let's go to effect, generate CC light sweep, 90 degrees. Let's bring it right down in the middle. And let's take the edge intensity down to zero. 
and bring up the sweep intensity and the width pretty wide, about like that. And then what we're going to do is take a mask and make just a triangle, about like that. Hit F on the keyboard and bring up the feather, and we're going to feather this. See that? Now let's go in, let's change the color of this to a blue. And that's kind of the beginning of what we're going to be doing. Now let's take that light sweep, duplicate it, change the color to white, and let's bring the width down quite a bit, and the intensity down. And duplicate it one more time, and we'll bring the width down even more. We want basically a nice, and the intensity down more as well. Now what I can do is I'm going to duplicate, duplicate this mask, and then down in the effects for Light Sweep 3, let's add a compositing option and put in Mask 2. And then what I can do is under Mask 2, under the path, I can select path, hit control T, which will give me my free transform. And I can kind of bring that in a little bit. I'm going to do that with light sweep two as well. Just so that the white doesn't go all the way to the end. Bring in mask two. There. Okay. So that is our basic flare that we just created and you can see looks pretty good so I'm going to take that duplicate it rotate it by 180 degrees let's bring the other one down about right here but I do want to have this all the way down underneath okay the second flare and maybe bring the opacity down a little bit so it's a little bit different so that's the main background. Now you can see here in the example everything's kind of blurry around the edges and so we're using a lens, a camera lens blur and we have to build our own blur map to do that. So I'm going to create a new solid. Let's make this one black. Let's put this in a composition. Name it blur map. Let's go into there. Let's create another solid. Make this second solid white. Put the white one on the bottom. Let's take that black map and grab the ellipse tool, turn it on, and then just double click, and it'll mask that black one. And then feather this. Okay, that's about what we want to get. So let's go back to these titles that we're making. Let's bring that blur map, put it to the bottom so we can't see it. And now time for an adjustment layer. So grab a layer, a new layer, adjustment layer. And to this, let's add a blur called Camera Lens Blur. And off the bat, it'll blur up a little bit, but if we come into the effects, go down to Blur Map, and we choose our blur map, you can see it'll start blurring that. And I think I actually did that. No, it's good. I just need to increase the blur. So let's bring the blur radius up. And you can see the closer to the edge, the more blurry it is. So more white in the map, the more blurry it is, the more dark, the less blurry. Let's maybe go about 50 on that. Okay, now if we want, we can take this black solid and scale that down. Oh, no, not scale. If we go to the feather, feather that more on the mask, or maybe come into the expansion and bring the expansion in. That's going to change the blurring. So now you can see it's a little more blurry and not such a hard line. Next thing I want to do is I do want to have that second flare, the one on the right, I want it on top of the blur map so it doesn't blur out. Now let's go back to, um, remember I had some, some grunge? So let's bring that in. And I want this also under the adjustment layer. 
So the edges will go blurry a little bit as well. For the transfer mode, let's go to screen and then let's bring the opacity down. Let's start with 50. Okay, maybe 25. Let's see what that looks like. You know what, let's have that above the adjustment layer. That one doesn't need to blur out. And then this flare over here, I want to duplicate that and let's have one above the adjustment layer just so it adds a little bit of sharpness and then let's bring that opacity down 25. Just add a little bit more definition to it. Okay, we're done, almost done doing all the building. Basically all we need is to do our text on top. So let's do a nice <clears throat> font, square font. So let's go Bank Gothic. And let's center that. And that is how you build up this titles. So let's do some animations. I'm gonna take this adjustment layer. And what I'm gonna do is these four things, I'm gonna take just two of them, and I'm going to parent it to that adjustment layer. Let's also take the grid, parent it to the adjustment layer, and the blur map, parent it to the adjustment layer. All right, so I've got a few of those parented to the adjustment layer. So as I scale it, so let's keyframe the beginning, Go to the end and let's just scale it up a little bit. So 115, the things start to move. Now let's take the, maybe the audience and we'll do that one on its own. Let's bring that up to maybe about 220. Keyframe the scale of that to 200. And then let's move the text. So we're keyframing the position on that one. And then for the main titles on top, let's add a scale. Let's bring that up to 115. Keyframe the scale. Go to the end, bring it back down to 100. Now with this camera lens blur, things start to get pretty slow. So I'm gonna come in and turn this adjustment layer off for a second while I finish up one last thing. And what that is, is I wanna add a glow to this. So let's add a new adjustment layer and we'll add a glow effect on top of this. So if we go to effect, stylize, glow, and let's make the radius nice and big. Okay, let's see what that looks like with the other adjustment layer. Okay, so I had to actually take that black background and scale it up because it was creating a weird uh, glowy edge around it. So that is that. Let's render this out and you can see the final product. All right, so here's the render. Now, obviously you can add or take away as much as you want. I actually ended up putting a lot of little elements and textures in this background, a lot more than I did in the original one. So I did that just to show you, you can add more stuff, you can take away, you can move things around however you want. And again, this is just inspiration from the Imperium trailer. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts. Just put them down in the comments below. Also, is there any new tutorials you'd like to see? You can let me know in the comments as well, or you can request one at our Facebook or Twitter page. There's a link to those on the channel homepage. So if this tutorial helped you out, definitely check out some more tutorials I have. I've got more movie trailer tutorials like this where I break up and kind of dissect movie trailer titles and recreate them. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and definitely check out Cinema Spice. It's a website that I own and operate where I sell things like After Effects presets and plugins and I even have sound effects and t-shirts. So definitely go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.